Talk for safety precautions when using ceiling fan. Hello friends, today we will talk about the top 4 safety precautions when using ceiling fan. Safety rules of ceiling fan. Number 1. Electricity rules. The very first rule of safety when it comes to any kind of electrical installation is switching off the power. The circuit breaker controls all the rooms in your home before you start playing around with electrical wires. Be smart. Whether you do this by yourself or have an electrician help you, this will be the most obvious first step. Determine if you need to wire for AC or DC voltage and use the proper gauge wire for that voltage. Even if your fan uses different gauge wires, all wires in your house need to be the same voltage rating. Number 2. Read the installation instructions. The instruction booklet that comes with your ceiling fan details how to install your fan from start to finish. Read it before starting to get familiar with the steps. Don't dive into putting anything together since you might miss a crucial step. They include this booklet so you don't risk mistakes and prevent a minor accident along the way. The instructions may seem boring, although without using them correctly, there can be trouble later. It also gives you a chance to make sure all the parts that come with the fan are counted for. This booklet also tells you what tools you need and when to use them. This is especially important if you decide to do the installation yourself. Number 3. Make sure your ceiling fan is properly attached. Sometimes the installation booklet will glaze over this part but it's worth mentioning nonetheless. The weight of any hanging fan will need to be very secure. Not because your ceiling fan is not strong enough, but there needs to be an anchor point. Find a spot in the ceiling where there is a stud or ceiling support beam. It will help take up the load of the fan, so there is less stress on the ceiling cover. The ceiling fan anchor should be directly attached to a support beam. There may also be a security wire that is secondary support just in case. It needs to be attached to that beam as well. As long as these are well supported, you can prevent your fan from falling by mistake. Number 4. Keep installation area clear. You will want to move all non-essential items out of the way to install this ventilator. Move the couches or beds and anything within a 2 meter radius of the work area. Have a steady work ladder to reach the roof to attach everything. If you have access to the inside of the ceiling area, this will make things easier for wiring. Have someone help at all times so they can hand you the tools you need when you need them. Treat it like surgery and your assistant will help make the work go faster. 4 Safety Precautions When Using a Ceiling Fan Number 1. Double check all your attached parts twice. Once everything is all together, you need to run across the checklist of part attachments. Every screw should be double checked to make sure it's screwed in snug but not overly tight. This way you can confirm that everything is well attached before going to the next pass. Check all your wiring connections and make sure all those wires are secure as well. If everything checks out fine, you are out of danger and then move to stage 2. You can then turn on the electricity and test out the fan to see how it works. If everything is fine, you have done a great job. If the fan begins to vibrate, you will need to balance the fan blades. If it doesn't work, turn off the electricity again and check the wiring to see if there is an accident. It won't be any risk to you if you have an electrician friend to double check your work. Number 2. Make sure there are no obstructions. Even the best installation doesn't account for unforeseen obstacles. A door that opens into your room might be in the way is a good example. Other examples can be tall dresser, closet door and floor to wall fold away beds. Terrible as it may sound, this mistake can happen if you did not think of where your ceiling fan is. These room items must be measured first to make sure they don't get in the way. If everything is totally clear, you can relax knowing they won't be in the way of the spinning blades. Also be sure that house animals cannot get near the fan with nearby furniture hiding spot. Parrots, trained birds and even cats have all been 
no to try to jump into ceiling fans. Number 3. Never use your hand to stop fan blade. Even if you have turned off a ceiling fan, the fan will continue to spin for a short time. Let it come to rest on its own. It was not meant to be touched or stopped with your hand. The reason has a lot to do with the fan blade attachment. These special brackets can be bent if they are stopped using your hand or anything in the way. Even at slow speeds, the amount of force can be bent a bracket slightly and cause wobbling. This can result in your ceiling fan becoming unbalanced or possibly damaged. Prevent danger by keeping hands or objects getting in the way as a general safety rule. Number 4. Never use unapproved parts not meant for your fan. Some items were not meant to be added to your overhead ventilator. This is especially common for the kind of light bulb that is meant to light up a lower fan dome. Only use the recommended voltage that the manufacturer approves. Higher voltages can get too hot and risk damaging the fan motor. It's also a potential fire hazard if something starts to melt from the heat. Stick to LED bulbs instead to reduce a fire hazard accident due to heat buildup. Fan blades that come from a different ceiling fan can be dangerous as well. It might not be able to power larger or longer attached blades. Only use the blades that came with that fan model for obvious safety reasons. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information, subscribe to the Engineer Ajay Lars channel, How to Make Home.